Okay, I hope the sound of my, my other two printers doesn't drown this out, but here we go. I got my Creality uh, CR10S. It's the 300 by 300 by 400. You see it's got the dual Z rods here. Um, I ordered the new version 2.1 board because my version 2.0 board right here this one I was having issues with the hot end fluctuating temperature so I ordered this the new board in order to fix that this is the first board that I received and when I installed it uh, all that happened was the machine started beeping and the screen was flashing and all the stepper motors started cycling so I contacted the seller and they sent me they said there must be something wrong with the board and they sent me a new board which is the same one here version uh, 2.1 you can see right down there right now I have one of the uh, display connections undone just so that it's not beeping but I'll go ahead and plug that back in and you can hear the beeping now the machine isn't actually powered on right now I just have it hooked up to the computer because I'm trying to flash the firmware according to the directions that were sent to me by the the Amazon seller so let me go ahead and power it on so you can see what exactly happens when it's turned on and here we go all the stepper motors are cycling back and forth and it just does this beeping right here so let me go ahead and shut that off and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that connection there so it's not beeping the entire time the rest of the video so they sent me uh, these these directions right here um, which is really it says for online printing but um, gives you directions on how to load the firmware so turn on the power connect the computer and machine through the USB line will automatically install the driver if it does not install the driver you can do it yourself drivers in the SD card click this PC and choose desktop properties manager device manager to find the serial port that shows yellow and click update driver so they have a diagram here where you open up your device manager and it should right there should pop up with other devices so I open up my device manager and there we go I got network adapters and ports I have no other devices right here now I've noticed that and I'm no expert in flashing firmware or anything like that um, but when I do change from one board to the other this FTDI port changes so I thought okay maybe that's what I need to update the driver with um, so I tried doing that click on this here I go to uh, driver update driver and browse my computer and I go to the folder on my desktop where I saved the firmware that the the the, uh, the Amazon seller sent to me so go ahead and click next and it says the best driver for your device is already installed and you can see here here's that uh, close all these out here here's the the folder and there's the file they sent me CR 10 s 300 hex so that's where I'm at now with this um, if I and it really it doesn't matter which board I plug into I still get the same results even with the uh, the old board which still works with the exception of the the heat fluctuating but even if I pl plug that board in it doesn't pop up in my device manager 
So, if anyone out there has uh, got any suggestions, I know everything I've seen, it, it requires an Arduino or whatever you call it to, uh, to flash this firmware. But if anyone's got any suggestions mm -hmm. on what's wrong with this thing and how I can fix it, uh, I've gone over the, the wiring diagrams. I've got everything plugged up in the right places. All the power connections are are tight and secure. Um, kind of stuck with this thing right now. So if you could give me any tips, I appreciate it. Thanks.